Hi, it's Cassie, and I have a fun, quick card for you tonight. Um, I am making this really awesome background using clear modeling paste and a pigment. So the clear modeling paste looks kind of gray, if you can see on the screen there, and it really does look like that in real life. But when you mix it with other pigments and colors, uh, those colors really keep their vibrancy and don't get dulled down or sort of muted like other modeling paste do. And that's where this clear modeling paste really shines. I love using it to create um, colored texture backgrounds like like this one today. I'm using a new stencil from the Crafters Workshop as well, and I'm just going to use this awesome modeling paste that I've now created in this cool turquoise color and covering this whole background paper, which is um, a metallic glossy silver. I wanted that that um, that negative space of the stencil to look like metal. Um, so that's what we've got and it's super cool and I'm so excited it turned out fantastic in my opinion. So now that that's uh, drying and well it has dried uh, we're taking some sari ribbon that I just had in my stash. I thought the color really popped against that turquoise and here I'm showing you using the rest of that paste on uh, black cardstock and a manila tag so you can see how well that color really shows up on all different kinds of surfaces all different um, colors and tones so that I'm just adding some fiber to the background of my card adding you know the fibers really add a little more texture a little visual interest these leading lines are going to bring you into my focal point which is this awesome sentiment from visible image stamp it says you have to trust your own madness which I think is pretty fantastic and uh, I'm using some stays on pigment um, ink in white so that that really pops and shows on the black cardstock there. Uh, sometimes I really like to use um, a corner rounder uh, punch and just do the opposite corners. I think it adds some fun kind of playfulness and a little bit of movement to your card and it's just fun to do. So I've done that on this card here just to add a little bit something extra. Um, I also do all four corners sometimes as well. That really uh, is a nice finish but sometimes it's fun just to play it up a little bit and uh, change things up and um, just do opposite corners. So that's what I did for all three squares there so that they um, are sort of matching and um, that pattern is followed throughout the whole card. So then right before I stuck this on with foam adhesive, I'm just whacking the edge just to make the, the edge of that pop a little bit and give it some definition. Sorry for seeing the top of my head there. <laughs> uh, and then finally just going to put this all on my card base. I use double stick tape and just uh, line it up and stick it down and you've got your card super quick and easy using some awesome clear modeling paste to get whatever color you want really vibrant and beautiful. And that's that. I really hope that you enjoyed this project and if you'd like to watch more of my videos please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and hitting the bell so you don't miss any more videos that um, that I post. And thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate your time. Bye-bye.